21 seniors lost to graduation definitely leaves a pretty big hole along with some large shoes to fill. But head coach Jason Roeder and his team believes they've got the right pieces to step in and stick with the standard. I think we're very motivated. We know what happened last year. We fell short, so all of us seniors and juniors that played last year, we know that we don't want that to happen again, so we know it's, we have to work. It's the little things you have to do, and day in and day out, just come and get better. Yes, it is. It's a lot of younger guys, but they're really skilled and they're able to play varsity football, so we're excited. It's uh, one of those years where it's it's you know kids waited their turn. It's it's now their turn to turn turn to shine. Um, you know, a lot of names that many people haven't heard of yet, uh, but I think they will come uh, a few weeks from now. So good group, hardworking group, very talented, fast. Uh, so excited to see what they can do. Ethan Neidig, one of those key losses from a season ago, but replaced by Xavier Dunbar, who feels like he's ready to take over under center and be a dual threat QB, who fits nicely into a well-established system. It's going to be scary. I think it's going to be scary because he showed a glimpse of it in the district championship last year where he could run. So, And now that we're going to have him running the ball sometimes, and he also has an incredible arm, so it's really going to be crazy to see what he could do this year. I think it opens up what we do uh, with our offense. We've done for the past so many years. I, I can't think of a time. It's been a long time where we haven't had a guy that could could chuck it around and and also uh, you know get yards on the ground. So uh, that fits in well with what we want to do. Um, so hopefully he can get that done. Well, I, sh I could do things. I could do things running and throwing. So it would be more to the offense to just p put points on the board. It's no coincidence Freedom has found themselves winners of two or runners up in three of the last six District 11 title games. And it's that culture that has set the expectations for this team to once again be at the top this season. Based off the standards our coaches set us to and our seniors stepping up and telling them that we have this set standard that we have to meet and, and year in year out that we want to be one of the best teams in the APC. So I think it helps that the young guys play that standard. And we always talk about our, our seniors as the guys that, that need to drive the culture and um, they've learned from the guys before them and um, you can't take it for granted that's just going to happen. You still got to, you know, we have points of emphasis every year and we have them again this year that we feel that this group needs to, to kind of focus on. But uh, in terms of, of the way we want them to practice, train in the weight room, act in the parking lot, the locker room, wherever it might be. You, you, you like to think that our, our culture is in place and they know how to do things. At Freedom, I'm Cassie Schmidt reporting for the SC Network.